Right, boys, it is the end of the season. It is Athletic Club Bilbao versus Arsenal in the Europa League final. Our first chance of proper silverware on the save. We've secured Champions League football. It's the silverware. It's the trophy we want to bring back home to the Basque country. Fingers crossed, today's the day. Big shout out as well to all the Patreons down below. Hopefully one of your regens will steal the show today. All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the biggest, probably, episode of Basque or Nothing, apart from maybe the one where we had to sort of, like, save my job a few seasons ago. Opportunity of silverware. Obviously, the title has, has drifted away. We finished the season pretty well. We lost to Granada, but we beat Alaves and Levante to get... I think we finished fourth. Yeah, we finished fourth, so not the end of the world, I think, considering the ups and downs that we had. Also... A thing to look at for next season. The Granada game was difficult. We did rest a lot of players after the Europa League thriller in the last episode against Napoli. And the rest of the games, Barcelona at home. And the rest were Celta Vigo away, Barcelona away, Valencia away, Real Madrid away. No disgrace there whatsoever. So if we can just tighten up a little bit away from home, snatch a couple of draws, we will be hopefully all set for next season. Um, our opponent, Arsenal, oh, by the way, where is he? In the Granada game, um, Ike Munayin uh, got sent off, two-footed tackle. Two-footed tackle with aggression at 12, to be fair, he's got a lot of aggression. He's still unhappy, bless him. Um, I'm thinking about doing a Munayin special episode where I go, I'm going to have to go through all the videos on the channel um, from the series. If you want to see a Munayin special where we look back at some of the highlights and goals and, and stats, let me know down in the comments. Um, it'll take a little bit of work, but he's going to leave at the end of the season. I can't offer him a new deal. He doesn't want to even talk to me. I was going to offer him as much as he wanted, even though we don't play him, just for him to stay. Um, doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So it may be the end of our boy money. So if you'd like to see that, let me know down in the comments. Right, our opponents, Arsenal, are fifth in the Premier League. So they need this for Champions League football next season. Leeds United have picked them to it. Their manager is still Mikel Arteta. They did win the Europa League five years ago and in 2021. So I don't think they would have had any, any Premier Leagues. No, no Premier League still. Um, interesting few players. Their star shows, star performances. They've got a region there who's not bad. Um, Tobido, uh, Mason Mount, Saka, Badashil still there. Ferran Torres, Theo Hernandez, Boudou, Dalot. Um, Nicholas Dominguez, one of my favourite players from FM19. Dominic Calvin Lewin's down there as well. Um, so, yeah, I think we're actually being given favourites. Are we the favourites for today's game? I think we actually are. Right, anyway, we're going to pick our team. So, in goal, number one, Pedro Burguesa. We're going with Javier Casado at right back. We're going to go with um, Cortazar, our young centre half, because he's been tremendous the last few weeks. Big call leaving Solar out, but I think we're just going to do that purely based on form. Wing back Pablo Columbani, box to box midfielder Azaya Ross, who's had a really good season in central midfield. Nine goals, eleven assists, loads of goals from the shot corner routine. In the middle of the midfield, Pacheco, who's just missed out on an international place for the Euros. I think it is it twenty twenty eight Euros? Yeah, for the Euros, he's missed out on an international place. Average rating not great, but he's racked up nineteen assists, fourteen assists. In 28 games, one every two games. Right side, hmm. Right side, we're going to go Williams. We have to do. We're then going to go Serrano in behind. Uh, sorry, they're going to go Williams out there. Serrano as the shadow striker. One forte as the advanced forward. Little bit of form. Dominguez, unfortunately, got himself injured. So he's going to miss this game and has been in decent form. There we go. Williams has not played, I don't think, at all recently. No, he's not played since April, end of April, a month. He's been out a month. Um, we do have players on the bench. Obviously, we, we can name full bench today. So, players like Sanche, um, Garay, Eon Bilbao, especially if um, especially if Williams is struggling, may get a go. 
Arezzo and Pablo Vado. We may, may even bring on Munayin as well. Either way, hopefully the game's in the bag. Or we're getting smashed. We'll, we'll maybe bring him on. Still good at free kicks. Still causes problems. So, yeah, we that, that may be an option. I'm obviously thinking heart overhead there. You lot at home will probably be telling me, don't be so stupid, don't be bringing him on. But I just feel it's the game for Munayin to say goodbye. And he is the club captain. Fingers crossed he can lift the trophy today. Right, here we go. Arsenal have gone Marais, Haniel, Tobido, Gabriel, still a lot left back, maybe, or they may be playing three, looks like playing 3 5 2 with Delot and Hernandez wing backs, midfield of Mount Kamar and Saka Budu and Fernando, sorry, not Fernando Torres, Ferran Torres up front. This, this is for the fans, this is for the fans, for the Basque fans. No European football success, no La League title since 1984, no Copa del Rey since what, 1984. There's the Super Copper. Get in. We need more than a Super Copper, don't we? Here we go. I've just got a feeling it's, it, honestly, I honestly feel like we're just, they're just going to wipe the floor with us and we'll completely bottle it. We won't get anywhere near them. Uh, very much like my Porto Champions League final was against Chelsea in this in the special one series where I thought we had a chance and we just got blown away and we were never in it. I'm not sh quite sure how Arsenal are strength-wise. Did finish fifth, so they're not one of the best teams in the Premier League, but obviously the Premier League and their the amount of money they can spend probably gives them the slight edge. Right, here we go. First highlight it is going to Arsenal. Dolot, Saka, Mason Mount, Saka again, crossed, Ross clears. It's going to come straight back though, unfortunately. I just thought he never had a chance. Juan Ferti may struggle a little bit up there because he's pretty much a 3v1. So it will be a counter-attack that may do it. A ball over the top for him to chase. Right, Dolot, Saka. Blocked again. Henyal. Oh, he's found Saka. We could be 1-0 down. We 1-0 down. The first highlight, the first shot probably of the game and it is 1-0 we just, for some reason, just let Saka drift in. And I think he actually hit it pretty close to Bergesa. Midfielders just failing to track runs is something really annoying on Football Manager. Bergesa didn't cover himself in glory either. 22 gone. Come on, boys. Let's demand more. A very, very boring, tight first half. We've had three efforts. They've had two efforts. Not XGs of 0.19 and 0.24. Free kick. Clear. Get there, get there then, Herrera Bera. Didn't even look like he was going to get there. Pacheco, we're going to lose it. Can we get it back, please? We can. Williams, Azea Ross, into Serrano, into Pacheco. What have we got here, boys? See, this is a little bit of a problem. One, two, three, four, five. So this is maybe something we look at changing. Herrera, Herrera Serrano, we've lost the ball. Oh, and they've just pumped it over the top. Good save, Bergesa. Right, I think we're going to have to do some kind of tactical tweak at half-time. Put two up there. We'll have to maybe potentially move Serrano out of that attacking midfield slot. Put him up front. Dear me. Put him up front so then they've got something else to worry about. Put Williams, keep Williams on the right, but maybe change him as a winger. We did play with a winger, him as a winger, up until, we, until he got injured. Right, we're going to thrash arms. Far from please. So let's go into the tactics. We're going to go Serrano. Let's play him as a complete forward on attack. Let's go Williams on just on support. Okay, dressing room. That's done. Let's see if the change in formation just helps us a little bit. Herrera Bear is injured. Okay. Right, we'll go Williams then. And we'll go Bilbao on that right-hand side. Encourage. 60 minutes in, boys, and we've done absolutely nothing. 20 minutes to go. Oh, dear, boys. Just nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right. Let's go Sanchez. Shadow striker. We've got to go more direct. Hit crosses early. Let's open the play right out. Let's might as well just get the wing bags. Wing bags? <laughs> Ball bags? Wing bags. Bombing on. Let's keep Azairos just in there. Anchor man. Come on, boys. A chance. A chance. 15 minutes to go. This looks like it's going to be a throw into Arsenal. Dominguez. Saka. Calvert-Lewin. And it's just the most sloppiest goal in the world. 
We have six point two for Fuate, six for Williams, six for Serrano. Oh dear God, we've just not. I knew it. I knew it. We just wouldn't turn up, like the Porto game against Manchester against Chelsea in the special one about a month ago, and it's the same thing here. We've just not turned up against an average Arsenal side. We're just dribbling into players. Good save, Bagessa. We've just absolutely not turned up. It is time for the main man, Munayin, on that left-hand side. Let's put him as an advanced playmaker on support. He's going to get a runners-up medal in what will be his last appearance for the club. It's not ending with the dream ending, is it? Five minutes to go, last desperate attempt. But the clock will tick down. There won't be any more highlights, will there? There is a highlight. Three minutes, two goals, boys. You're right. One for is in. Oh, he's put it wide. Oh, it would have been an interesting three minutes. Probably the one of the biggest chances of the game. And there we go. We have been defeated 2-0. We have not turned up at all in a final. On Football Manager 2021 20, again. Really unhappy. I know it's only the Europa League, but for us in winning trophies, we're what, eight seasons in and we've won seven seasons? I think maybe seven seasons in. Seven or eight. And we've only won a Super Copa. Things need to change. We've obviously got issues in terms of being able to strengthen the squad over the next couple of seasons. There's not much to pick from. We've had Abar and Alaves both relegated from La Liga, so potentially there's an option of picking up players there, Basque players, maybe young players. We've not got anything amazing. We've got amazing players, but nothing that is going to set the world alight straight away in terms of coming in and really playing well in the first team. We will try and do a permanent deal for Cortazar if we can. May still be quite difficult. Garay, the youngster, has... Stats, attributes, sorry, that are pretty good, but he need, definitely needs to improve. I think we'll try and get that loan deal in again. Maybe even try and get Cortazar. They've not given us much money, 21, 22 million, um, which considering our finances, we've got 72 million in the bank at the end of the season and they've only given us a little bit of that. So that's disappointing. All right, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Not so much about the final. Where do you think we need to strengthen you guys that have been following it all the way through? Let me know. Patreons, thank you very much for your support. I will do a quick Patreon update, youth development update, just for you Patreons as well, coming very soon. I'll get that out over the next week or so, just for you. If you are interested in becoming a regen in the game, in the series, becoming one of the Bass Boys, all you need to do is hit the link down below for the Patreon. Join Patreon at the Silver Tier. Um, you also get that. Free giveaways and also the opportunity um, to get extra episodes of Basque or nothing. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for your support. And uh, yeah, roll on another season in Bilbao. Cheers, guys. Take care.